Hi friend, this is a little clip from a conversation I got to have with my dear friends Beth Davis and Father John Parks all about the church and her teachings. You can find the full video over on our YouTube page or it's linked down at the bottom. I hope this brings you peace and clarity and please be assured of my prayers. The Eucharist! <laughs> the reason why we believe that the bread and the wine become the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus it's because of four words. Because Jesus said so. That's it. Why would you believe something that he said? Oh, because we believe he's the son of God. Why would you believe he's the son of God? Because he rose from the dead. That's the reason. And I could explain to you philosophically what the church means by what's called transubstantiation, which is a philosophical way of understanding how it still tastes like bread and tastes like wine and looks like bread and looks like wine, but in its substance or in its essence, it's become the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus. I could explain to you philosophically, but you could not know any of that, but still believe it because Jesus said it Yes. and Jesus is the son of God. Mm. So if he said it and I believed it, then that settles it. Come on. You know? <laughs> if you said it, we believe it. What's that from? It's a Maverick City song. Oh. I'm like, they're singing about the Eucharist. They don't even know. <laughs> I mean, just read John 6. I mean, it's, it's shocking how many times he says it over and over and over again. And he gets kind of carnal in his language about, we must like gnaw on my flesh and blood. I mean, it's, and it's a deal breaker, right? Mm -hmm. John chapter 6, verse 6, 6. Many left and returned to their former way of life. It's like a deal breaker for Jesus. And he doesn't stop them. Oh, it's just a symbol. I'm just speaking in metaphors. Turns to his own followers. And then I love this. Peter doesn't say like, oh yeah, this makes perfect sense to us. He says, where else shall we go for you alone hold the words of eternal life? It's almost like he's saying, I don't exactly know how you're yeah. going to do this, but you said you can do it. So you're going to do it. And then at the last supper, the night before he died, oh, this is how you're going to do it. This is how you're going to give us your flesh and blood to drink through the Eucharist. Mm -hmm. You know? This is it for me. I, I can never leave because of the Eucharist. Amen. Amen. It doesn't matter the scandal. Amen. It does not matter what any, how anyone else fails. Amen. I can never leave Jesus in his true flesh. I'm with you. This is why I love being Catholic. By the way, I just got to say one other thing. <laughs> Please. If we're wrong about this, can I just be real for a moment? Yeah. yeah. Dear listener at home, if we're wrong about this as Catholics, yikes. Like we are committing an idolatry on a level that is, at least the golden calf was golden. You know? <laughs> yeah. Like that looks like a wafer. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, that, that's crazy. But if we're right about this, and I'm saying because Jesus said so, because the whole, by the way, the early church, they all believed this. Mm -hmm. Second, third, fourth, fifth century, they didn't believe it was just a symbol. They believe it became the body, blood, soul, and divinity. So if Christians are wrong about this, we've been wrong about this from the very beginning. But if we're right about this, like it's just astonishing how intimate that God wants to become one flesh with us through the Eucharist. I mean, that is. And then we understand why marriage so is, a, is an icon or image or a sign of Christ's love for his church, because a, a bride and a groom become one flesh through sexual union, and we become one flesh through God's of the Eucharist. I mean, that's just like astonishing. It's all there in Ephesians 5. By the way, in the Old Testament, the manna that fell from heaven, do you remember what it tasted like? Bread? It tasted Sweet like honey. Bread. Oh. oh. And Jesus says in John 6, your ancestors ate the bread in the desert and they died. But whoever eats of this bread will live forever. And if they if they tasted it and tasted like honey, what would that remind them of? The promised land was a land flowing with milk, milk and, and honey. honey. The Eucharist is a foretaste of heaven. He says, if you want eternal life, eat my flesh, drink my blood. This is the only place you can do that. Amen.